So this will go through what we're going to be doing today. We're obviously going to be going through the Greece chapter of Anniversary, but with a bit of a twist. There are some things that I have added to this game to make things a little bit more interesting and different from people who may have played this game a thousand times before. One of them is to ins I've installed a mod which was recently created by a user called Rack, which basically replaces the character model of standard Lara with Angel of Darkness Lara, complete with facial animations and hand movements. So it's pretty much like a continuation of Angel of Darkness. And this is the first time that anyone's actually been able to mod something of that magnitude into Anniversary and Legend. So that's what we're going to be showing off today. I've also got a reshade applied to the game to sort of like show off what the, what the game kind of looks like with slightly boosted colors in certain areas. So that I'm looking forward to seeing what your reactions are to that. And lastly, I'm going to be semi speed running through this but not all of it. I'm going to be showing off some tricks here and there that I've managed to pick up in practice, but obviously we are going to be going through this glitchless, so we're not going to be doing any kind of like flying or any other tomfoolery there. Yeah, but this is this is the character model. Um, someone's actually just been able to straight up port the, the, two, the, the Angel of Darkness character model as is into Anniversary without much tweaking. The shoulders still look a little bit weird, but considering this is a first time effort with very limited resources and tools, this is Insanely good. All good, Raider Cast says. Excellent. As Fortnite Lara enjoys her cup of tea. <laughs> yes. I've also got her doing the Get Swifty dance from Rick and Morty because that was added to Fortnite as well. Whoa, that's not happened before. Um, oh boy. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> this has generally not happened before. There we go. Um, Speed runs through. Okay. <laughs> There we go. Let's see if we can get it first, second time. Come okay, on, kitty. There we go. And then, the oh no, just, oh, hang on. Oh. Quickly, 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 yeah. No, no, quickly, yes. Oh my you gosh, right, Sweet. so. You're not supposed to be able to do that. Um, you can basically use dead bodies as weights in certain pressure plates. And we'll be showing off another use of that later. And good news for animal lovers, we won't have to kill the animal this time to do it. <laughs> so the first room that we are actually going to be going to is the um, Hephaestus room, which some of you may remember in the original Tomb Raider was called Thor, which is everyone's favorite um, Greek god. Wink, wink. So they renamed, yeah, so they've renamed it from Thor to Hephaestus, which is, I believe, the god of metalwork uh, armories, forges, um, DIY stores, and haberdasheries. I don't know. Oh, someone's initiated a moach only chat. Someone want to set a time for two minutes, Neha? <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, so now they can only talk with pretty pictures. Pretty pictures, you say. All right. Pretty pictures. Well, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. I don't want to judge, but. <laughs> Steve, what is that face? What face? Steve O oh, sixteen yeet. What what are you Oops. doing in that emote? What that's that scream looking face. Is that a scream? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to see what it is because everything's just gone by so You don't know your own emote? Not by not by name. How can one forget a a name like Steve O oh, sixteen yeet? I wouldn't forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the one on the far right of what Uncharted Raider has yes. just posted? Yes. Oh god, there's a story behind that. So basically, okay. it was a photo taken at one of my parties I used to have. And um, it was, oh god, it was a photo that got memed because it, I just pulled this face, that face there, and that's the face that basically uh. it got made. And it was just like this stupid face and it got passed around my mates. So I decided to turn it into an emoji. <laughs> it's, um, well then. It's indeed, yes. So it's I apologize. It's a good thing it's emote only chat right now. But this is going to be hopefully something that I can show off. Um, normally, you the idea of this room is you've got a raft that you're supposed to release from a floor grate and then you're supposed to let that float up and raise the water level so you can pull it round to a ledge you're supposed to jump to. A lot of words there, I apologize. But yeah, what I'm hoping to do is circumvent that by just simply jumping straight to it. But we'll see what happens. Okay. Whew. No. This might take me a couple of tries because it's very tricky. Classic. Uh...
Oh no, I'm not gonna be able to do it, am I? Okay. Ah, curses. I will do it the normal way. I have been foiled. A few moments later. Do you know what, for funsies, let's try one more time. Oh my god, I did it! Oh my god! <laughs> what the hell? Thank you. Because <laughs> when you least expect it, it works. Yes, I wasn't even doing it, I wasn't even trying! Yeah, and that's, that's when it always okay. happens! <laughs> that's Tomb Raider in a nutshell. Whoop! I like doing that at the last minute because if you swan dive just before the cutscene trigger, she looks like she just pops up out of the ground. It's hilarious. Magic spoon. What the heck is magic spoon? Oh, it's a it's a cereal that's supposed to be good for you. It's oh, sweet, but it's it, not it supposed to spoons? be unhealthy sweet. No, <laughs> it's made of magic. <laughs> oh, even better! That's something I can eat. There is no spoon. Magic spoon. That's exactly. It's matrix. It's matrix. Matrix sweet. Cereal. Matrix cereal. Yes. Oh, I didn't have enough health. So it looks oh. like I've just I stubbed her toe and ended her adventure. Well, you are playing AOD in an AOD outfit, right? So she's feeling stronger now. She's feeling weaker now. <laughs> Very clever. I like that. Yeah. My legs feel stronger now. now. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe exactly. I'll make that jump. Oh, still can't. Right, here we go. My strength is increasing. There we go. Yeah, see, I didn't have enough health. You need at least just over half your health to be able to make that. But for some reason, that works. Don't question or ask, just do. Oh. So, there should be an interesting skip that you'll be able to see me do here. Cool. Nope. Classic. That's just how you die quickly. <laughs> Norsk is like, cool trick. You ain't seen nothing yet, Norsk. I'm gonna die even more times. It's gonna be just as cool. Alright, here we go. Haha! There is an alternate way which I never knew of before until I started practicing for this again that you can actually go through it because the standard way I think a lot of people do this room is that there's a switch. Oh, good lord, Jesus! Is that you're supposed to basically um, go through and then pull a switch to deactivate one of the panels on the side so you can sort of just walk around it. But there is actually a route that you can take through which bypasses the need to do that. And it's actually dev intended, which is crazy. I never even knew that it was a thing. Here we go. So we can stand on this part. Oh, thank you very much for the um, for the bits there, Crystal Dynamics. Thank you, thank you. That Avengers money. Oh, I never did this. Thank you for showing this, Steve. That's awesome. I didn't, yeah, I didn't, for years, I did it the other way. I didn't even realize that this was a thing. So yeah. That's something you can do, which is quite pretty cool. Whoa, trying to tell with the shade. Oh, what she said? Is this a die in every room speedrun tips? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, she's, ju she's just bitter because she didn't win the legend race. <laughs> oh, you're going to have to clap back from that one. <laughs> trying to tell this, I neither did Steve. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's very true. <laughs> <laughs> how are you gonna how are you gonna throw that shade and use it as a burn if you didn't actually win yourself? That's not a real burn. I wasn't I wasn't taking part in the actual race to be fair. This was like a bonus thing that me and Rap did afterwards because we literally finished with an hour extra time. So um mm. I normally stream through about three hours and we finished with like an hour to spare, so we thought, do you know what, me versus rap, I've not prepared. Let's let's do it and see what happens and yeah. He, um, wiped the floor with me, <laughs> so there we go. So let me just take care of this Colosseum's pest problem, sorry. I like how that rat's just like, hardcore, just sitting there whilst gunfire's <laughs> been like, landing around him. It's like, what are you gonna do? I'm just a rat, you can't hit me. Huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I am the exterminator. Come with me if you want to exterminate. Shout outs to Harambe, so we're about to see his family, and unfortunately, <laughs> It ain't gonna go well for them. Shout to Pierre. Better pick up the pace. <laughs> Zuteloa, Miss Croft. Right. So, I'm not gonna tell, I'm just gonna show, and then hopefully you'll see for yourself what's gonna happen. So that there wow. is a trick you can do 
called a back handspring. And that basically negates everything in this level, because now I could just run down to the end and be at King Midas within about two minutes. That's amazing. But what, you, what you're actually doing amazing. is, if you're up against a slope, put your guns out, and you literally just, um, hang on, you roll backwards like that. And for some reason, this game's programmed to let you slide up slopes with that. So if you if you do that and then you put your guns away, you can essentially just use that to get up a slope and then jump yourself off of it and use it to bypass certain areas of the game if you wanted to or get up to little cheeky areas you're not supposed to yet. The circle of life! I mean, death! Right? Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> no remorse regarding endangered species. Here we go. I mean, to be fair, they attacked me first, so fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> That, that's a good excuse. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Peter ain't got nothing on me. Uh, Wawa Quaff gonna head back to work. Wawa Quaffed. <laughs> good luck with the rest of your stream. It is a brilliant name. It's almost like Wap Wap as well. Yeah. <laughs> and here we have the lioness. In its natural habitat, it can consume up to 12 adventurers in one day. When angered, the lioness likes to leap towards the adventurer. <laughs> And then gets shot in the face, ending its life. Your your commentary went so well with the epic music. <laughs> epic Attenborough, yeah. He's he could be Winston's cousin too. Yes, he could be. Imagine a conversation between those two. Uh -huh. oh, hello there, cousin Winston. How are you today? I hope you are well. <laughs> That's very good. I'm glad to see that your wife is doing okay. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Does that about sum it up? That's that's what it goes. I imagine it in my sure. head to be exactly like that. It's perfect. And someone's asked if I've ever considered voice acting. I've not I've been asked that a couple of times and do you know what? I'd never even thought I was any good. I'm perfectly honest. But maybe I'd like to lend my voice to a uh, a TRLE a custom level set. I reckon that'd be quite fun. I could probably I could probably do an uppity British accent for Alistair or something. I'll get the diamond hydronate. Is that a sword? No. Who's Amanda? I think that was a bit overkill for bats, don't you think? Oh, what? Nothing Look at that pose. That. that was unintended. Look at her. <laughs> you can't even tell what Ooh. shape she is. But this can sometimes not work. Yes, she did it. Thank you. Thank you, Lara. No! <laughs> Oh, no. Oh my god. I should have Jeez. moved over to the to the left a little bit. Ah, oh, I told balls. you not to get spiked. Well, you're not my mum. <laughs> I thought you said you practiced, though. I did. This is what we call marathon luck, or just poor playing. <laughs> Are you going for the relic in the... Uh, in the fire I room? I want the fire room. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I might try. If enough people go for it in, in the chat, I'm, I'll give it a shot. Oh, no, why? I should have, shouldn't have said anything. You I will give that one a try. I won't go for both. I will go for that one. I love how casually she destroys an entire area. She's like, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've just destroyed history. Oh, whatever. I have this yeah. lead bar now. I'm sure I'll find a use for something. Okay. Another little sk skippity doo dart. If I can pull this one off. Okay. There we go. Oh, oh. Nice. And there we go. Skippity doo da. And there we go. Potentially, I think you already know what I'm going to be doing. Ah, no. Shout out to the magic away. lever there. Ooh, he's giving you a big chomp. And this is Lara for Britain. Going for the gold and the avoiding fire. Ah, no! <laughs> right. <laughs> the judges. Oh. Zero, zero, <laughs> zero. Yes, there we go. Ha ha ha! For some reason that works. That's a pressure plate, which you normally step on and it causes this big cutscene to happen where it turns on all of the fire, which then makes this a, a real pain in the ass to uh, to get through. But you don't need that, because if you do it in a certain way like i just done, it kind of, for some reason, just forgets that it's a pressure plate and allows you just to jump over it. I only found it by accident playing on the Steam version. I've always played it on Xbox, except for when I played it originally on the PC. And uh, I've always had the fire. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then always at the, the fire. first time if for the first time ever when I was streaming, no fire, I was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a god. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing could stop me. I could control the fire. <laughs> oh, yes. You wanted me to see to see me do the um, the relic, wasn't it? Oh, uh, goodness. <laughs> I can't. Can I remember how to do this? I mean, this is going to may be made exponentially less stressful without the fire. Here's me trying to do this from memory. Because you've got to pull the lever down there, I believe, mm -hmm. isn't it? The fun little jaunt. There we go. Oh, right. There we go. There we go. I, t I always have to make the noise whenever I jump in this game because I don't trust this game. I don't trust this game to make jumps that are supposed to be easy. <laughs> Let's jump to that and then... Uh -huh. Well done. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. And now I've got a race to get to there. Yeah, I'm not in New York City, but I am in New York State, so... Ah. Same time zone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just on a yoga farm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With free range chickens and yogurt. Oh, just, oh, there you just go. made it. Well done. There we go. I got the artifact, everybody. I like the fact that all of the relics and and whatnot have their own individual descriptions. It's certainly a separate from the secrets that you got in Legends, where they were just basically like guns, guns, gold, bronze, and silver <laughs> metals. <laughs> I mixed the word gold and bronze together. That was weird. Here we go. Let's turn on the fire. <laughs> Oh, you can't if you want to. This is great. There you go. She just had to give it a good jump. I like cool walking away from that because it's just with the epic music and stuff and the fire in the background, it's just like really <laughs> fucking badass. <laughs> Neha, are you still there? I'm here. Have you not heard yeah. me? I'm just checking because obviously you're a little bit tired and you've had a Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee. So you could either have <laughs> ca the, the caffeine affect you in two ways. You could either it either makes you more tired or it's made you right. w wired. <laughs> you have no. a caffeine coma. I feel like I'm still the same amount, but I'm I'm fine. I'm totally good. Honestly, this, the the soundtrack in this game is, is keeping me energized. <laughs> How can anyone fall to asleep to? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I like how they're patiently waiting there. They're just like, oh, where the heck did oh. she go? Oh, I don't know. I think she disappeared around here. What about you? Oh, I don't know. She sort of walked off. We can't. We can't leave these rooms. The programmers have left us, so we can't. We can't leave. I'm sorry, but you're ruining my trick. You need to die. Orange. What does "twired" mean? Is that a halfway between tired and wired? Isn't that just <laughs> Is that normal? Like, isn't that like overtired? <laughs> Doesn't that just cancel each other out? I don't know. Yeah, there we go. I love gold! <laughs> I love the fact that the model doesn't quite match up with the gold texture, so she's got, like, human fingers poking out through the gold. <laughs> that, that does look funny. This particular level, um, we are not going to be going on any part of this section of the room at all with what we're going to be doing, so... So dark. Don't worry, Lara. I heard the water is very refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Pierre. There's no, there's no toxic mold in this water. <laughs> no. We don't there even need no to be here. There in this water. I have thrown some chlorine into there to make it clean for you. I'm very nice. So what we what normally happens in this particular room is you've got that there platform, this ear pressure plate, and that one there, and you've basically got to do some kind of crazy nonsense with some kind of block which you, yeah, that one up there to put that on the pressure plate, raise the water level so you can then move that about and then climb up there. But with the help of these friendly crocodiles, we won't need to do that. So if I can get this one to bite me, he looks wow. so happy, doesn't he? Give me two seconds. That's not the <laughs> trick, by the way. He, he's just having a, he's just having a whale of a time. Hang on, hang on. Right, the there way we they, go. The way they suddenly start crawling around is so fast. It's funny. It's I so like their weird. faces as well. It's just like... <laughs> yeah, so if you don't move or attack them, they stay there. So essentially now I've got something weighing down that pressure plate. Now all I have to do is just worry about raising the water level and just the latter half of the puzzle of this room. Yep. Oh, come on. Get up there. Thank you. Put your guns away. 
Um, you'd say that the crocodiles float when the water, water level is raised, but what floats first? Something that's below the crocodile or something that's above the crocodile? <laughs> and the answer is below the crocodile, because look at it. There it goes. Yep. I love the fact that Rap Wins is trying to call me out for using skips. It's like, I can't believe you're using skips. Who would do such a thing? Says the person <laughs> who used skips for the entirety of the Tomb Raider Legend race. It's fine. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Is that how he did it? Yes, I did say they were allowed. I did say they were allowed, but somewhere that got lost in the ether and he was the only one that did them. <laughs> oh, we can hear the crocodile. Please, mm -hmm. Mr. Crocodile, don't take my feet. I won't turn you into shoes, I promise. I love this boss fight that's coming up, I gotta say. It is pretty cool, but it's interesting how the whole mechanic of them turning into stone isn't used again when they come back up into the um, later levels. These were special horses. Special horses from your farm, your yoga farm. Yeah, if they were from my farm, they'd be a lot more chill than these guys are. <laughs> well, at the very least, I'd hope they'd have their skin. <laughs> yeah, it's never, it's never good when they lose it. <laughs> Here at Atlantis Farms, we grow our free-range sun centaurs with the finest of feeds <laughs> and make them attend yoga farms classes every day. Yep. Atlantean dressage, yes, please someone make that a thing. Oh my oh. god, that would be amazing. I mean, the Olympics is like, and suddenly, here come the uh, Atlantean <laughs> athletes for the dressage. You just see these, like, centaurs with shields just awkwardly stepping like, left and right, doing the doing the Tootsie slide or something. They just slay everybody else. Leader of the Chosen after the Great Betrayal caused Atlantis to be lost beneath the waves. That face. <laughs> she looks so disgusted with this character model. <laughs> Oh, criminy. <laughs> yeah, it happens all the time. <laughs> Just got drive by by a horse. And this, this looks like... This looks... This one looks tough. This might rather. It's just fiddly. More than anything. Whoa, hello. That's a cool mechanic, though. <laughs> yeah, and it sadly doesn't come up again. It is cool to amazing. fight them in the boss. Yeah, it's awesome. Well, it's, it's cool, and I like when boss fights have their own unique mechanics. Not necessarily that it needs to be in there for everyone. And Powerful time! Shotgun. That's me. That is me.